Christ to sit on his throne. That's what he said. But in here, you see that God said, listen to me, see here, look at the contradiction here. Because, excuse me, give me the Quran, the Bible. Give me that. Let me show you. I'm going to show you. See, a prophet. You people say it's not a prophet. David is a prophet. So here, don't leave it, leave it. Don't leave it. No, let's go to here and see. Acts 2. Check that with that one. And you see, as I said, Acts 2. 30. See, 230. Yes, look at here. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But you see the difference in the two? You see? Uh, look at uh, what uh, NIV said. This is the most popular tr Bible translation here. Yeah. But he was a prophet and knew that God had promised him on oath that he would place one of his descendants on his throne. There they said Jesus on the throne. You see the, you see the contradiction? No, 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 no. Because if you look at the beginning of Matthew, Jesus is from the lineage of the lineage of King David. Yeah, but did he say on the throne of King David? So why did David say, why did David say, my Lord says, my Lord? No, we're not going to that. No, no Psalms, I know. Let me, let me go. No, we don't want to digress. We don't want to take out somebody because that person, if you come from me, you are cursed. I know. We, 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 we got to go. Wait, what I'm trying to tell you that you see the difference between here, here. Read Acts two thirty again. I mean, let's see the difference. Acts two thirty. Read it. Oh, there's Christ there. Two is no, no, let, let me finish there. No, here, yeah. Here, there is no Christ there. You see, 230. But he was a prophet and knew that God had, pro God had promised him on all that he would place one of his descendants on his throne, on David's throne. Yeah, yeah. You say David does it. No, I think the Bible says that. Bible you read it yourself. Where is the name David? Oh. Where is what? Where is that thing you read? Where did this? It says David. Look at this. Ask, 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 20, 20, 29 starts from Pharaoh Israelites. I can tell you confidently that the, the patriarch David died and was buried. And his tomb is here to this day. Then can the call to the prophet? Be the property, my brother. He was a prophet like that. He was a prophet. No, 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 no. Do you, do you agree with the Bible is a prophet? Yeah, I agree that he prophesied. No, he didn't say prophet. My prophet is there. The Bible says the prophet. Look, let me read that. I've read it ten times. You disagree with the Bible. Yeah, a lot of people make prophecies. They didn't do the people that make the prophecies. He said that. He said, fellow Israelites, I can tell you confidently that the, confidently that the patriarch David died and was buried, buried, and his tomb is here on this day, 30. But he was a prophet. Look, look, I'm reading the Bible. But but he was a prophet and knew that God had promised him on oath that he would place one of his descendants on his throne, a prophet. Okay, wait, wait, no, 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 I've never seen this one before, you have to put my eyes in something. Yeah, that's what I said, David is a prophet, you know, you call him a prophet, yeah, he was a prophet. Okay, wait, let me ask you a question. Do you agree that your ghost was a king? Okay, yes. And you went to the war, yeah. and he killed, when he went to build the temple, he was very familiar with this color. Now, when he went to build the temple, what did God say to David? No, I don't know why, what, what are you there? When it, when it went to be the temple, God said to me, what temple do you want to be for me? Your hand is full of blood. Your son, Solomon, he didn't want to be the temple. That's why Solomon was not the first one of David, but Solomon was later um, replaced with David to become king. Yes. Now, when David was being chased by the sword, the sons that he was reading, when he was going to church, why then did David say this? You can answer me this question. Why did David say, my Lord, say, my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemy Who is that from? What is that Who is that here? Who is that from? Someone here, what is that Even the Jews, 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 Rabbi, I know my Lord, my, my Lord said, my Lord. Even someone said, Jesus, God, 
tell you this because it is this one that today, today we tell you that that uh, 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 verse has nothing to do with Jesus. Jesus. Rabbi Tonga, Rabbi, Rabbi Tonga sin went into it. It's on Google now. So if he said that Jesus, what does that mean? My Lord said to my Lord, tell me. Because that's the right time. So what about So who, 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 who is that then? When he said, my Lord said to my Lord. No, explain to me. Now I want to know you so that you can educate God me as well. Say to Jesus, sit on my right hand and I make the prince in palace of power so that I the enemy for your feet is placed. God said to Jesus, but you don't believe that Jesus is God like the rest. You're not drinking. I'll tell you the reason why I say I believe. Do you believe Jesus is God? Yes. I'll tell you why. You, you know, you say Jesus said, the Father is greater than me. You know? Yeah, yeah. Now, there was a time we was in the temple. He said, glorify thy son, that thy son that glorify thee. And Jesus said another thing. He said, your father yes. is great. No, wait, wait, so that we know, put it on the context. You're cutting from John 17, 5. Let's put the context. If you go on quote, on quote, on quote, yes. tell me what do you mean by John 17, 5. Let's one verse at a time. Yes, John 17, 5, you got it, yeah. When Jesus said, your father is The glory, yeah. Yes. Glorify thy son. That is that the that with you before the world began. Oh, the glory that we had with him. Now, how can you protect God? That's what John said, yes? No, no, I'm just I'm listening. That's what, that is what uh, uh, John said, yeah? But when you go to the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number uh, 42, uh, chapter 42, verse number 8, this agrees with it? That one disagree, disagrees. If John had read the Old Testament, we have known what God said. Because that God, God said that in there that I'm the Lord, I'm the Lord, that is my name. I will not give my glory, nor my place to idols. Now John came down and changed that. Did God change his mind? Now I want to explain to him, I don't know. Now I want to know. No, why is that in the Old Testament, in Isaiah, God said, I'm the Lord, that is my name. I will not give my glory to another, nor my place to idols. But when you took go to John 17, 5, John said something else. What does John say? Like no, no, <laughs> I don't know it by the reason why I'm saying glorify me in your glory. presence. So that the glory I have with you, with you before the book uh, world began. Now, Jesus said before the world began. Yeah, that is from your yeah, yeah, that's the Bible. The Bible said, said yeah. Now what glory is Jesus talking about? And who is he talking about? Okay, tell me what glory is he talking about. He's talking about the Father. That means he is before. Earth, before this earth was created, Jesus was the day before. Yes. So, okay, okay, let's, okay. First of all, when it, we're quoting from John 17, uh, 5. When you go to John 17, go, before you go to 5, John 17, 3, what did he say? Okay, let me tell you, John 17, 3 debunks, John 17, 3 is a bit of debunks this myth of Jesus being God. It debunks this myth of God the, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Huh? It debunked this myth of the concept of Trinity. John 17, 3. Remember, start from John 17, 1. This was first page from Matthew 1 and 2. Let me, let me read it. Here. John 17, so that we can put Because when I open it, it's better. John 17, 3. Maybe you haven't come across that. You know John 17, 5? That's why I said, you know John 17, yeah. But for John 17, 3, if you don't know. Uh, yeah, John. Okay, John 17, yeah. John 17, 1 started. Look at this. John 17, 1. John 17, 1. Jesus prays to be glorified. John 17, 1. He said, after Jesus said this, he looked towards heaven and prayed, Father, the, the hour has come. Glorify your son, that your son may glorify you. Verse number two. For you granted him, for you granted him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Okay, go to verse number three. He said, now, this is eternal life, that they, that the disciples might know, the, you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. So according to Jesus Christ, who is the only true God? God so according to Jesus Christ, God Almighty is only true God. So, no, let's, let's one time. Okay. He even said, according to Jesus Christ, God, or God Almighty is the only true God. But according to you, you believe that Jesus in the beginning was God. So why is he saying God should glorify him? 
No, 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 no. Let, look, even if you, even if you go all that, let, let's say that two goals. Let's say for the sake, sake of argument, John 17, 5, you quoted. That means that Jesus is God. But Jesus saying, "Glorify me, Father." Uh, as the glory I had you, with you before the world began. Let's say for the sake, sake of argument, according to Jesus is God. Let's say Jesus is heaven. From the beginning, he was there. He's God. And God the Father is there. So who is the only true God according to Jesus? Jesus is God and the Father is there. Who is the only true God? Thank you. So what does that make Jesus? Think properly. No, son or no God. And if you say Jesus is God, I mean, no, if he says God, he's not a true God. No, no, it's not intellectual. I'm not, into it. I'm, not really, I'm not really reasoning. I use a bit of reasoning. But Jesus said, he said, and this is eternal life. They, the disciples, my daughter, you are the only, in this, the only true God. And Jesus Christ, whom you are sent. So according to Jesus, the only true God is the Almighty God the Creator. God Almighty, I agree. Because he said God Almighty is great. Yes. Now, why should God send Jesus Christ? Now, for what purpose? Jesus was sent as the Messiah. Yeah. to the children of Israel to, the to bring them back to the end to the we Muslims, we believe that he was born the Holy Spirit without any father yeah. now I'm giving an example we, we have something in common the things are in common because most Christians don't understand that but we believe in we, oh you don't believe in Jesus why is that Jesus did not die yeah the evidence is there history says you can go and uh, investigate Jesus died on the cross but Muhammad escaped Salah Salam and he said Jesus did not die yeah Quran I said the Quran said, Oh my Catalu Masala. They kill him, not no crucify him. Well I can see now. But so it was made to appear to them. Okay? And all those who are in doubt, they, uh, they are just guessing. Allah mm -hmm. said, for authority, they kill him not. He did not die. Yeah. And the next one said, Barra, 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 Bile, Wakana Lao, and this is a But nay, rather. He said, but nay, Allah raised him to heaven. He's in heaven. We believe that he's going to come back. He did not die. Yeah. But the thing is that now, if he said Jesus is God, and there's no evidence in the Bible that Jesus, when he came, he never said he's going to be a worship. You know that? Not a single verse. I'll give it back. Jesus said, Do you believe in God? Believe in me. For in my father's kingdom, which father is he talking about? In my father's kingdom, there are many things. You are quoting from Gospel of John, yes. chapter 14, verse number 1 to 2. Most Christians, it's good that you started from 1 and 2. Most Christians will go to verse number 6. John 14, 6. I'm the way and the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father through me. And they go to John 14, 9. He that has seen me has seen the Father. They quote, they quote all of the other context. Because if you want to know, you start from verse number 1. Verse number 1, John 14, 1. Jesus is telling you who is God, who is Jesus. But you Christians always... Uh, Mr. that one. They don't even ponder on it. John, John 14, 1. Jesus said, He said, He's talking to His disciples. John 14, 1. He said, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe you also in me. From verse number one, He make a distinction, my brother. Let's all, read all of it. Sorry, Lord. Before you go to, in my father's house, there are many mansions. You know the, the context, because all the context. Let's read it together. So that you know, the Christians, they quote it out of context. They go, Jesus said, he doesn't see me as in the Father. John 14, 9. That means Jesus is God. They all go, go to John 10, 30. I, my Father, I want to quote all of it out of context. I'll put this into context. John 14, we start 14, 1. And we walk through it. And you see, see, John 14, 1. Here. He says, said, Jesus comforts his disciples. He has comforted his disciples here. So he's speaking to the disciples. Verse number 1 said, do not let do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Straight from verse number one, Jesus makes a distinction between him and Almighty God. And the why, disciples understood that. Why does he need to say believe in God alone? I'm sorry? No, believe in me as the Messiah. Even we, we have to believe in Prophet Messiah from the last of Father. Yeah. Yeah, we believe yeah. That's why the Shahada is there. That's our Shahada. You see, that's why Jesus believe yeah. You can't, if you say just believe in me, what about God? God, that's same Jesus. That's why I made it. Do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me as a Messiah. Verse number two. My father's house has many rooms. If there were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to 
prepare a place for you. The house doesn't belong to Jesus. It belongs to Almighty God, the Creator. You understand? Then verse number three. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you, take you to, to be with me. Oh, that you may also be why I am. Yeah, let me finish it. I'll see. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Verse number four. You know the way to the place where I am going. Yeah? Verse number five. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Then verse number six, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Verse number seven. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Yeah. And the disciples the man is saying this. And then we have finished verse number eight. Philip said, Lord, so is the Father, and that we that will be enough for us. Nine, Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip? Even, even after I have been among you such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, So is the Father? So what is Jesus now saying? Anyone that I've seen you have seen the Father? It means that. You see, God chose the best among us, among his creation, to be his mouthpiece, prophets. No one can see God. Uh, you see, same scriptures here. So, if you want to know about Almighty God, you have to go to the scripture, even you are the prophet, or you go to the prophet. So when Jesus said, you don't see me as the Father, and the Father's representative, you cannot see the Father that lives. Because I've already told you, you guys, in John uh, 5, 37, that the Father who has sent me has himself borne witness to me. His voice you have never heard, his form you have never seen. You can't see God. You want to know about the Father, come to me. He's also told them in the Gospel of uh, Matthew, chapter number 23, verse number 9. Matthew 23, 9 said, Do not call anyone on the Father. No, do not call anyone on the earth Father, for you have one Father and he's in heaven. So you cannot see the Father. He does not see me, has seen the Father. I'm the Father, Father's representative. I'm not the Father on the earth. You understand? So this is that, you understand what I'm saying? That's the thing. So when Jesus said this, he did not see me, has seen the Father. Some Christians call this out of context. I always refer to them. Go to John 5, 37 and uh, uh, Matthew 23, 9. Okay, let me give you, okay, you explain that one. Yeah. No, I just want you, yeah. try to prove to me Jesus wanted. In the book of John, it says in the beginning, in the, in the beginning was the word, yeah. and the word was the God, yeah. and the word was God. Yes. Now look at that. Yeah, yeah. You know that verse very well. Yeah. You're very excited. In the beginning was the word, and, and the, the word, word was with God, God. And, the and the word was God. 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 Yes. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. And dwelt among us. Yes. And we behold the glory right, of the Son. And he said the light and darkness wanted to overcome it, but darkness could not overcome it. But you know, you know that part. Yeah, right? but do you, you see, Christians yeah. also, they call John 1 1, they don't understand it. Okay. So when John 1 1, he said, in the beginning was the world. Yeah. And the world was with God. Yeah. And the world was God. Because you believe that Jesus was the word of God. Let me call the Quran for John. Jesus is the word of God. You believe that. You read the Golos Quran. I'll come to that so that you understand. Right. For the viewers as well. You read the Golos Quran, uh, Surah. And the Psalm, chapter number 4, the Quran has got 140, 140 surahs in the Bible called the chapters. Now it's got the fourth chapter, fourth surah, verse number 171, it says, Allah said, O people of the scripture, O Christians, do not go to extremes in your religion and do not speak lies against Allah, but speak the truth. The Messiah, Isa, Jesus, the son of Maryam, the son of Mary, was no more than the messenger of Allah. And his word, which he bestowed on Maryam, and a spirit created by him. So believe in Allah, spirit created, created by him. So believe in Allah and his messenger. Don't say three, don't say trinity in the whole kind of Desist if you better for you. For Almighty God, Allah is one Lord. Far exalted is he above having a son. So we believe that it's a word of God. Yeah, Allah, yeah. A Messiah, word of God. But when only a messenger. But when you go to John 1 1 now, Christian said to me, John 1 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And ask them, what do you mean that word? Are you telling me that that word in the beginning was God? 
was in the beginning was the word God in the beginning? Let me show you why you are wrong. Very good, so that you know. Christians are so the beast. Yes. Uh, it's there, it's thrown away. Give me. Yeah, it's thrown away. Uh, thrown away. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I'm going wrong, man. Oh, no, throw it. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Oh, seriously. I've got it now. So, this is the thing. So, when you go to John 1 1, look at the thing. Look at the distance between the two. John 1 1. John 1 1 said, I want Christians to take this really and check it. John 1 1. Uh, this is report. I don't know who it is of John 1 1. Yeah, yeah. John 1 1. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Yeah. Can you see what you just read now? Yes. In the beginning was the Word. Yes. The Word was with God. Uh. And the Word was God. Yeah. So there are two gods. There are two gods. There are two gods. Yeah. So who are these two gods? Okay. So there are two gods now. Yeah. Most Christians will say there are no two gods, one God. So there are two gods according to you. According to you, there are two gods. Because that's what he says. There are two gods. Who is he referring to? No, what? Which is the God? Okay, okay, okay. Let's say there are two gods. According to you, there are two gods. All right. Okay. John two, number two said, the same was in the beginning with God with our. No, that's what I'm, I'm trying to say. Yeah. So the verse number six, the same word here was in the beginning with God. Means Jesus was in the beginning with God. So the same was with God. Okay, if he said there are two gods in the beginning, you believe that there are two gods according to according to here. Most Christians will get that when they read John 1 1, there's only one God. They, that God is Jesus here. In the beginning, look at it. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. According to most Christians, that word is Jesus. Only one God in the beginning. Okay, but according to you, there are two gods. <laughs> No, that's what I mean. I can't my understanding. Okay, okay. So if there are two gods, so which one is the real, real God? Which one is the real God? According to there are two gods, which one is the real God? I told you which one is the real God. So according to two gods, you want to know the real God? Okay, let's go here. The real God in the Old Testament, this is what he said. Uh, Deuteronomy 32, um, 39. This is what the real God said. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of God of all the prophets in the Old Testament, oh, in Deuteronomy 32, 39. This is what he said. Let me see this. You know, anybody? You know what he See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. You see, yeah, I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. I Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So the God of Old Testament said there is no God with him. So John 1 1 is a fabrication. Yeah, yeah. John 1 1, God made it clear. In, 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 you see that? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And do you know because John 1 1, no one said, because John 1 1, Jesus said, yeah. you know, if you want to establish a truth, you need two witnesses. Go, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Yeah, Ma, yeah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Do you, you know the synoptic gospels? The synoptic, synoptic gospels are uh, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. John came later on. John 1 1, you can only find in John. Not in Matthew, not in Luke. Huh? Uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and Matthew, Mark, and Luke. You never find them. And we know that Mark was the first gospel. The first. You can never find John 1 1 in, in, in any of the synoptic gospels. Only in what? In John. But now, in the Old Testament, God said there was no God with him. But John 1 1 said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was, and the word was God. So according to the Christians, the word was Jesus. Jesus in the beginning was God. Now, let us do it. Let us find out if they are lying. Yeah. We are telling the truth. I need the word of God to never ask. Now, when, when you consider that the world, 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 the
No, revelation came late. Revelation. If, if, if you go to revelation, no revelation. We don't go to revelation. I can tell you. Revelation one one straight away. You know what I said? Revelation.